You created a simple HTTP handler that redirects a user's requests in the previous lesson. That's lesson 8.5. In this lesson, you will apply your HTTP handler to the Walks folder in the Forest Walks project. An HTTP handler will not do anything unless you configure a web.config file to apply it to a folder. To begin this lesson, open the Forest Walks project from your Sample Files folder. Now add a new web.config file to the Walks folder. To do this, right click the Walks folder in the Solution Explorer and click Add New Item. Then click Web in the left hand pane if it isn't selected already. Then scroll down in the central pane and click Web Configuration File. Then click Add. A new web.config file appears in the Walks folder and the file is automatically opened. Now you're going to add some code to apply your HTTP handler to the Walks folder. Add the following code inside the configuration tag but outside the system.web tag. System.webserver handlers add verb equals star path equals star name equals walk handler Type equals forest walks dot walk handler. This code configures your application to handle all requests for the walks folder with your walk handler HTTP handler. The verb property indicates the type of request. When your web browser sends a request to a web server, it is accompanied by a verb indicating the type of request. The possible verbs are as follows. GET is a standard request for a resource on the server, such as a page or an image. HEAD is a request for information about a resource, but not the resource itself. POST is a request that sends information to the server. PUT is a request that uploads a file to the server. Delete is a request to delete a file from the server. Trace is a request for information about the connection between the web browser and the server. Options is a request for a list of possible verbs. And Connect is a request to make a secure connection. By changing the verb property in the web.config file, you could individually intercept each of these verbs with a different handler. The star indicates that the handler should handle every type of request. The path property indicates the file names that the handler should handle. For example, a path property of star.jpg would only handle requests for files with names ending in .jpg. Note that you cannot use the path property to specify subfolders, so you couldn't use a path property of forward slash walks forward slash star. This is the reason that you can't add the handler to the project's main web.config file. The name property simply specifies a unique name for the handler and finally, the type property specifies which class contains the HTTP handler. Your HTTP handler is in the forestwalks.walkhandler class. Test your code now by clicking Debug Start Debugging. 
Now using your web browser's address bar, attempt to navigate to forward slash walks forward slash dreamfalls. Your HTTP handler automatically redirects you to dreamfalls.aspx in your web application's root folder. Next, attempt to navigate to forward slash walks forward slash sunbeam hill. Your HTTP handler automatically redirects you to sunbeamhill.aspx in your web application's root folder. Finally, attempt to navigate to forward slash walks forward slash bad page. The HTTP handler redirects you back to default.aspx. The system that you've created in this lesson could have been created more easily by using ASP.NET 4.5's new friendly URLs features. These are covered in session 12 of the Essential Skills course in this series. While friendly URLs makes simple redirection easy, HTTP handlers have many more potential uses. HTTP handlers are often used to apply custom security features to sites. For example, the ASP.NET Central website uses an HTTP handler to display different content depending on whether the user is logged in or not. HTTP handlers can also be used to create virtual files. By intercepting a request for a file and populating the context.response object with appropriate data, you can create the illusion of a file. This can be useful when you are storing files in a database and want to make them easily accessible. You will use an HTTP handler to create a virtual image in Lesson 1210. These are just a few of the possibilities. By using HTTP handlers, you can take full control of the web server's response to any request. Close your web browser now and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 8.6 Apply an HTTP handler to a folder.